Going live in three, two, one. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Catching Up, hosted by Abel, Jay, and Willie. And by the way, this is our first, first ever podcast, so we'll give it a big round of applause. Yeah. 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 Well, first of all, I just want to say that I'm very glad to start a, por- a, po- a podcast with <laughs> oh, you yeah. guys. We're a little nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a little nervous. I mean, it's the first time in front of a mic, headphones, you know. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed already of listening to myself. <laughs> but how are you doing, guys? How are you I, doing? I'm doing pretty good, honestly. I feel Why are you nervous? <laughs> I'm excited to be here um, with you guys and being able to do this. It's, it's exciting. Yeah, man. It's, uh, you know, a podcast is just always something that I feel like everyone has always been wanting to do. So it together with the boys is, is an experience for sure it's it, it's a dream <laughs> come true <laughs> uh, honestly if you guys uh hear us stutter a little bit please don't say anything it's the first time so i'm also oh we're a little nervous yeah 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 okay um but yeah guys let's uh get to know each other <laughs> okay uh, I've, I've known you for like uh like what well, almost like a year and a couple yeah so well for, first let, let's try to give a little introduction to yeah, the camera so, so yeah exactly we, we are a group of uh Content creators, um, mainly on TikTok. Mm-hmm. That's the our main platform where we all like got to like get recognition. Stuff. Yeah, ba- basically, <laughs> <laughs> TikTok was where we You're, began. Honestly, you that guy from TikTok? TikTok Got some picture with you? Yeah, TikTok is where we began, and and I feel like TikTok was was a key for us, all of us to join. But honestly, Abelardo, talk to us about you know your beginnings, how you met us, everything. Well, I'm gonna give you guys uh, for everyone that doesn't know me and the people that do know me um my name is Abelardo Campuzano uh <laughs> why are you laughing bro I'm trying to <laughs> um I'm from Chicago Illinois I'm 20 years old and um yeah I've lived in Mexico for a lot of for a lot of years mostly in Mexico and recently came back here to the US like almost 4 years ago and yeah just just been working and stuff and Almost two years ago was when when I started doing videos. When the pandemic started, I started, you know, doing. Uh, <laughs> he hit himself in the mic. <laughs> I started doing um, TikTok videos and everything, and um, you know, slowly, slowly, people started noticing and people really supported everything that I was doing, and um, that's when I met them through social media and we just linked up. You know, like, hey, what's up? I like your your videos. Do you want to meet? Do you want to do something? And that's how like it basically started. What about you, Jay? Your beginnings. All right, let me just go over the, the. Okay, okay, okay. All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Jay. Um, that's my celebrity name. My my actual name is Jose. And that's it for the podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was born in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Uh, I moved here when I was eleven years old. Uh, it's been a great experience to be here in this country. A lot of opportunities, work, exactly, and yeah. education. Uh, we love the United States of America. Um, I'm 21. I started, uh, two years ago. The pandemic was two years ago, right? Yeah. 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 Two years uh, ago. I, I feel started. like, I feel like we all started through the pandemic, right? Yeah. 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 It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, growing up, honestly, I always wanted to be a content creator. Um, so I'm kind of living a dream at the moment. Dude, I mean, you are living a dream. Yeah. It's crazy. Cause I, I go back sometimes and watch the videos I used to make when I was little. And I, I never thought I was going to, you know have so many people enjoy the things I do and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, that's that's the second topic, so I should stop the introduction. Willie? Yeah. Take it uh, from here. Well, you know, my name is Willie Doggo. Uh, that's my, my government name is uh, Williams. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what's your other name, though? What's your other name? Huh? What's your other name? Angel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you know, I'm not a big fan of my second name. I love my second name, but... What is my, it? What is it? What is it? It's, it's Williams Ignacio. Who cares? Who cares? Anyways, yeah. Um, as well, I started on TikTok. Uh, that's how I met all you guys. Started on TikTok back in the pandemic, you know, and uh, started doing TikTok videos, and you know, slowly started going up and started meeting a lot of new people. And luckily, I got I got to meet you guys. And I'm about to cry. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah. As well, we we've, we've all been grinding on the same thing, which is. TikTok and I feel like TikTok has opened a bunch of doors for us. So. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm just>, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, so, so so how did it start for everybody? How did it start? Like, when was the actual um, like month? I year? just knew already that I was gonna. 
<laughs> since the beginning. I, just I woke up one day and I was like, dude, I want to be a TikToker. Just put my mind to it. Uh, well, I really? Mean, really? Do you actually start on TikTok? No, I actually, I didn't start on TikTok. <laughs> I actually started on Facebook. Uh, and and, then, okay, and then, okay. then you transitioned to what? I, I, I started on Facebook doing uh, Hispanic videos and everything. And honestly, it started slowly going up. And then I just transitioned into... Uh, <laughs> Pipe it up and stab. <laughs> <laughs> I, transi- I transitioned into Musical.ly. Big uh, fan. Big fan. Uh, Honestly, yeah. growing up. I would watch was, you. Yeah. Honestly. His dancing videos, bro. I would just watch uh, myself in front of the mirror. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's exposing. He's exposing. Um, I didn't know this was an exposing. Uh, uh, exposing. No, 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 no. Let's stop. If we're exposing. Ah, yeah. Commercial. <laughs> we'll be back in five. We'll be back in five. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I started on, on Facebook, transitioned to Musical.ly, started doing little transition music videos, uh, little dancing videos, but was not the thing for me. And then transitioned to Hispanic uh, mom videos again on TikTok. And but Musical.ly, um, you weren't allowed to use your voice, right? I wasn't on Musical.ly. No, more I mean, like my sister. So that's why I know a little bit about Musical.ly. No, no, you weren't allowed to use your voice. It was more of like uh, songs behind you and you were just like dance to them or transition into them and... That's actually, that's literally what, what got people crazy. Like, little. like doing the little movements. Honestly, never got it. But I can't say that I was in the top 100 charts. Uh, okay, okay. Whatever okay. that means. Huh? How, many, how many followers did you have on Musical.ly? I, like, I think it was like 12,000, I think. Was the so top good numbers. 100? Huh? Top 100? Oh, you don't have, for the top 100, you don't have to, it's not your followers, it's the views you're getting. Oh, yeah. oh my God. What was like your most viral music? I actually bought those views. Ben. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no way. It was, I think I got like, it was a grip. It was like. So he faked it. It was like. So he made 80, it. 80,000, but you know what they say. Make it till you make it. Uh, yeah. like 80,000 views. I mean, yeah, it was that's 80, a lot. Yeah, but I mean, I was like, I would post like five videos a day. So it would get like 10K, 20K. So that's how. And I you were still doing school back then. Yeah, dude. It was, I Homeboy was had hell of free time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Five videos a day. Yeah, I wouldn't pay rent. Wouldn't pay nothing, bro. Chilling back, just doing music, please. But yeah. What Facts. about what, what about what about you? Well, I mean, for me, it was I started off doing YouTube um, two months before I start. I got into TikTok. I was uh, I was working at McDonald's at that time, and I would always like um, I would leave like at ten. Or 9 p.m. I would, that would like my shift would end at that time. Then after that, I would go quick quickly to Walmart and try to like record a prank or something. Like I was doing like pranks and stuff. I didn't really know what else to do. And I mean, I enjoyed doing them. You know, it was funny. Yeah. And uh, I was posting them on on YouTube. You know, <clears throat> and I mean, the views weren't the the best. You know, I would get like two likes in the video, probably one comment, like 50 views. But I was I, I was enjoying doing it. You know, I would post it on my Snapchat. Like guys, all my people from school, like. Go subscribe, go go check out the video, and people would be like, "Oh, that's that's cool." So one day, um, I got hired in another location of a McDonald's, and the manager, um, he was, he's really cool. Shout out to to the manager. <laughs> um, he told me, "Hey, you're doing YouTube videos and all that," and I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Why don't you post those clips from your YouTube channel on TikTok? They might blow up and stuff, you know." So I was like, oh, "Yeah, like what is TikTok?" I, I didn't know what TikTok was, and he showed me. <laughs> Uh, videos and everything and actually he had a hundred thousand followers like uh he was posting like fortnite clips of him playing and stuff and he told me you should post your youtube your youtube videos on tiktok and they could blow up so i remember i left that night like at 2 a.m mm-hmm. and uh, i went home and my first video i posted like at 3 a.m it was a clip of me like um like throwing like uh items to like strangers at Target. <laughs> Reckless. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Reckless. Menace. So, bro, menace. Yeah. So so uh, that's what I was doing. And actually, when I like the next day when I woke up, the video was like at five thousand views. I was like, oh, like it's that easy yes. to get views. And uh, and that I mean, I just started doing that. I started posting like I would do YouTube videos and uh, post the clips. And then I started like you know getting to know the app. And then I actually did post like some trends. And stuff like that that were happening in the moment. But like 15 days or 16 days after I downloaded TikTok, I got my first viral video. One day I went to work. I got I got home from school. I had 30 minutes to get ready and go to go to work. And I posted one of the TikToks, which was um, it was American mom versus uh, Mexican mom. It was a video. I, I just posted it to post it. The beginning. Yeah, and and um, I posted it. I let when I left the last time I checked my phone, it was the video like at 200 views. And then my shift was uh, like three hours. You know, it wasn't a big shift that day. 
and uh all of a sudden while i was working i had notifications <laughs> turned on and the, the my phone was just like vibrating so much on my pocket i'm like what's happening and then i saw and and so many notifications popping up on tiktok on what's happening so i checked uh i checked my phone and uh, but the manager at that time, um, not the one from McDonald's. I had another job as well mm -hmm. um, at a restaurant. He was like, "Oh, put your phone away. You can't be using while you're working." I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry." So like, I didn't I blew up on TikTok. You can't no, tell no, me no, no, no. But listen, I didn't be like, really, honestly, I didn't dude, uh, here, just look yeah, honestly, slow it down. <laughs> slow it down. A little bit. I, I opened my phone because I was gonna get in the app to see what's happening. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> showing the numbers. <laughs> no, listen, listen. <laughs> um, I grabbed uh, my phone to check the app. But um, the guy, the manager, he came and he's like, put it away. So I didn't check it. So when my my um, my shift was over, I went home. I didn't have battery anymore. So I put my phone to charge and I checked the video. It was like 700,000 views in like three hours. 700,000? 700, in like three hours. I was like, what is this? And for me, like at 200 followers, I, I went straight to like 3,000, almost 4,000 followers. Like in three hours, I was like, wow, like what is this like happening? Like it's crazy. Right. So then um, that night I spent like um, like time researching and doing like more, getting more into TikTok. And the next day I posted a video uh, during school time. Uh, I recorded it before that, before, before that, I said before that. <laughs> before. I recorded it before I, I went to school. And then like during lunchtime, I posted it. And I remember in one hour, that video was like a two point something million. And that was uh, when you have a- And that was what- Tell me. That was when you barely start. Yeah, like 15 days after I downloaded the app. That's a that's a hell of a way to start. That's crazy. Dude, it took me like Okay, no, finish. <laughs> no, but um but yeah, so in 1 hour like like it had like 2. Point something million. It was uh a Mexican dad's reacting to their daughters having a girlfriend. So that video went super viral and after that like that night I hit like 70k and just like like from 4,000 jumped to 70,000 followers and I'm like, "Wow. Like what what is Overnight. it? What's happening again?" Mm -hmm. And, uh, and yeah, I just started like that posting videos and it just started blowing up. People really like what they, and even in my school, I was still in school before, before the pandemic hit, I was still in school for like a couple of days when they announced that we weren't going to school anymore. So in school, I did get some people to, that they would come up to me and be like, Hey, I saw you on my for you page. That's crazy. And stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. And I had barely like, I barely hit like a hundred thousand, like in the first, like after I started, like in the first, like, like probably 20 something days. And I was like, wow. And then from there, I just started. The yeah. rest is history. And I feel like it was kind of easy for you since you already knew what exactly you wanted to do, like what type of content you wanted since to do. Since the beginning, yeah. Yeah, because that, that, that's one thing I struggle with. Yeah. yeah. Finding the, the the niche. That's how you call it? The niche, yeah. The niche, yeah. Like sorry. A, like a theme. Spanish is my is my first language. Same, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Don't say it like that, though. You're making me look bad. Like, no. <laughs> Listen, okay. Because yeah, for me, like, I used to do, like, like cute, like, you know, like, Thirst traps. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I used to do that. I used to do, like, comparing cultures and stuff. Like, how, how was school in Latin America and how was school in the United States? Okay. And I would throw some comedy in there, but I didn't really find the, the exact, like, what what type of content in a specific I wanted to make until, like, five months later where I started posting consistently comedy yeah. videos and people loved it. But it took me, like, a while to hit a million. And I, I feel like that's how everyone starts. Everyone needs to find their, like, their theme. Exactly. As soon as you, as, as soon as you like, find it, <laughs> And then you know that that like that niche is hitting you and it's doing good. You just keep posting and posting. You don't stop because you know that those are the videos that are you know being really well supported. Exactly. Yeah, and and honestly, like like I don't know how your situation was, but for me, like I didn't choose to be a creator. Yeah, like honestly, like, like I would just start? like like post videos for fun, like with my friends and stuff. And I remember the first one that blew up that was 10,000 views bro I, I remember it was on my birthday you know so oh, we were eating dinner, we were dinner. Then I, I go back to the tiktok it's like nine 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 wow i start celebrating for everybody bro i'm like mm, we're making it out, making it out, <laughs> making it out. <laughs> but uh yeah i remember that and then that's when i actually like started, started taking it serious yeah, started taking it serious but like like i said you don't choose this life it just it, it's, it just, it happens. just happens yeah it, it happens. i feel like it just it, you don't choose it like it chooses you uh, like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, don't what is it? Oh, I thought he was telling you enough. <laughs> Quit it. I feel like I feel like sometimes it's casualty. Like casualty, yeah, like that. It happens, and and it just you know, like it chooses, like you say, like you don't choose. But what I see that everyone has something in common is that since a younger age, everyone like I don't know about I think you guys as well, but for me, like it was like I would I was a really like uh, I was really into soccer growing up. I played a lot of soccer, mm -hmm. 
I know you guys also did that. But um, I did hockey. I, I, you played hockey? Yeah. <laughs> For real? That's funny. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th- I thought you played. Uh, no, okay, you're just dude, trolling me. Dude. No, but um, I would record myself like taking free kicks and stuff. And then I would like, like be like, oh, um, did you guys see that? I'm going to give you a tutorial how to, how to shoot it. Like that to me, you know? So I would, but I wouldn't post it. That's the thing. I would just have it for myself. Uh-huh. So like, I feel like since like young age, you're like already recording yourself. And when you least expect it, it just in the future, it just happens, you know? Yeah. And, and with that, who, who, when you started, like question for all of us, when you started TikTok, like who was a person that you guys looked up to that you were like, or maybe it could have been before or after, like, who did you guys see that was like, oh, oh my God, like, I, I got to follow this this man or woman's steps? I mean, for me, honestly, I was almost at a million followers and I was still following four people. So I wasn't, people. I wasn't really, but it's not, it's not that uh, I, mm-hmm. I didn't want to follow anyone. It's just that I already had my niche mm-hmm. since like the beginnings and I was blowing up that way that I wasn't really invested in being on TikTok and scrolling through my For You page. I was just, uh, I would just get in the app, do my videos and leave. Like I wasn't on TikTok, you know, because why? Because I had a uh, school, I had uh, work and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So I wasn't, I didn't really have the time to like be on TikTok. And I mean, I, once I stopped uh, going to school, once I stopped working and everything, that's when I had more time to so you start looking at creators. So you didn't really have like someone. So like, I didn't really, no. You basically, you looked up to yourself. Yeah. Look, like, on TikTok, but on YouTube, I did have people that I would see, you know, like, like the Sidemen. Yeah. I would see a lot of everybody uh, wanted to be like the side man. Yeah, yeah, like those are the YouTubers that I would I would watch. You know? Yeah, I remember like back in the day, like I my, like I always wanted to be a YouTuber. And growing up, I used to watch uh, this YouTuber named uh, uh, Gilberto Sosa. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I used to watch him too. <laughs> no, 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 respect to Gilbert. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no 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 um i always wanted to to do uh youtube and growing up in latin america there was a uh, this uh chilean creator named herman garmendia oh herman and oh la soy herman oh la soy herman. i, I, would watch I remember too. every friday coming from school like watching these videos and stuff that's crazy and i always wanted to do those type of videos and um honestly where i blew up was tiktok but then when i started doing youtube like i, I was kind of making the same the similar videos to herman and then too many people came at me, bro, and I just, I just had to like, yeah, to like switch it up. That's the thing that like sometimes when you're starting to do videos, uh, there's a lot of people you know that, that tell you like a lot of stuff, and you just gotta, in a way, ignore it and just keep keep doing what you have to do, you know. You know, and sometimes it gets they, hard. Sometimes they re- recreate your video, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you have a really good idea, and then someone else just does it and doesn't tag you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why are you looking at you though? I'll tag you in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. No, but um, yeah, it's, I feel like TikTok was like a blessing for everybody because I've never seen a platform that gives you so many views that fast, bro. Like I've seen people going from zero to a million I, overnight. I feel like I feel like TikTok has opened a bunch of doors for everyone. Like uh, like not even just us, but like for a bunch of creators like where they are now is just because tiktok i feel like in a way it was i mean it's hard but in the way easy of like that's a platform where like i feel like anyone could really these days like get known but you just have to like like what we were talking about like get a theme have a theme and work on it and like you can and evolve you evolve can evolve you it. can evolve from it and, and you can do a lot of things it's just, it's just knowing how to actually do it because honestly like the be like did you guys have any struggles with tiktok like i know i did but what about you guys like any struggles like when you were starting like maybe you guys posting or like your time? i mean for me when i hit my i hit my <clears> first <throat> million like in like four months like when i started blowing up in four months i got it and i was posting five videos a day every day until i hit a million mm-hmm. and from there i was just posting three a day yeah and then until like right now i post like two a day yeah the thing with me is that i i i blew up with a uh, with like a specific joke and I thought that I was going to burn it out. So, th- like, the every single day I was like, damn, I have to, like, you know, evolve from evolve. this. It, like, start doing something different. But I just couldn't, bro, because all the ideas, since and it was even harder because I was barely starting. So, like, it was even, like, to think about new things and stuff, it was just it was just too hard for me, bro. But, I mean, I was still posting, like, five, five videos a day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, for me, I was posting, like, two, two, three videos. But, honestly, like, 
So it was when in the beginning, like you you get like only, only like a certain amount of views, like say for example, like twenty k views. But when those like viral videos hit, that you get like a million views, like you see that number and you just get like so like addicted. Crazy, and you're like, bro. oh my god, like I have to see that number like every day. Like, Addiction to, to views to, is crazy. I have to see bro, that man. number every time. For me, every time I would see that number, I was just like, I have to get it the next day. And if I wouldn't get it, I, I mean, I would just get so so mad Dude, at myself. Yeah. Like, why is that number not not there? Like. Yeah, it was it's just a grind for honestly like, and you know, like the type of videos you do like what was like the, the inspiration behind it? like not inspiration of like who, who you saw or something but like why those videos why do, why does it mean something to you you know because you have you're in that niche like just, i mean i feel like it means something to me just because every all the videos that i do is just experiences that has happened to me like exactly. throughout yeah. like throughout yeah. like all my life like People always ask me like, "Yo, like, where do you come up with your ideas?" I'm like, honestly, I just, I just look back on. I my just look at Campusano's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, basically, I'm basically just making fun of the struggles yeah. I had growing yeah, up. Yeah, basically, yeah, basically, it's just making fun of the struggles that you had and just putting them together. And but and sometimes people think that we have to like plan a big old thing. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just, just experience. Back. Usually, back usually, of, usually, they just come out of nowhere, and that's the good thing that and that people love that because it's so relatable and it's so easy for you to like recreate it since you lived it through. Yeah, like like on TikTok, I do a lot of uh, the Hispanic, you know, Hispanic things Hispanic, and stuff like that. Hispanic, Hispanic moms. moms, Hispanic dads, Hispanic just, moms. Yeah, Hispanic <laughs> moms. Just, moms. In, just in general, like let us see the face. Like, let us see the face. Hijo. <laughs> <laughs> just in general, just like uh, growing up Hispanic and stuff, you know. And uh, one time, I was with my mom at a mall, and uh, some kids came up to me and with their moms as well, and they started telling my mom. Uh, oh my god like th does are you really like that with your son are you really like that i'm almost so embarrassed she's like no he he just uh he tries to exaggerate everything but i'm sorry mom but it is what i like like went through growing up and all the all the what's it called how do you say regaños um, english punishments all the punishments, punishments all the all the the strict strictness from your parents you know everything just put it in videos yeah no 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 and um i remember people coming up to me uh, asking if my dad was like that, and it's crazy because I, because I, my character is a dad. I decided not to be a mom because you know. How, how, do, you, how do people call it? Um, tig tiger. <laughs> t -t 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 oh, oh uh, they, they call you a tiger. Yeah. Uh, tiger, tiger. <laughs> well, they used to. They used to. They used to. He's he's long gone. He, he faked his own funeral, but <laughs> <laughs> he's living off the insurance money, bro. He's, uh, he's <laughs> chilling. He's chilling in the Bahamas. Anyways, um, what was I talking about? About that, that the you started about with your dad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they would ask me like, "Is your dad really like that?" And and it's crazy because like, I didn't really grow up with my dad, bro. Oh okay. And like, it was always my grandma, and my mom, and I didn't really grow up with like a like a dad figure in my life. And it's and, and the ideas came to me so easy that people really thought that I, I used to you know get abused mentally by my dad. But no, my dad is pretty chill. About that. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's the thing that happened to me. Everyone would come up to my mom and ask her like, "Are right, like." Are you actually like that? Like at work, she would. I remember she would call me in the middle of her shifts. Like, oh, someone just asked me if I'm like that. Like, like it's crazy. I'm actually like that with you. Like, you can get me. Like, you can get me in trouble. Like, what are you doing? And I was like, it's just, it's just humor, mom. Like, how do you, how do your parents took took all these like um, uh, social uh, media? So, you know, I feel like every parent, like at the beginning, I felt like my parents specifically, they would tell me that they thought this was a distraction for me that I needed to focus on school. And, you know, I was focusing on school and at the same time doing social media. But there was something about social media that, that grind, like, I wanted to do more and wanted to become. And, you know, when I told them, like, uh, oh, I'm doing social media, they, were, they would just get mad. They'd be like, uh, you need to focus on something that's actually going to get you far in life. Right. You know? And I was like, okay, my dad especially, my dad especially, he was like, you need to focus on something that's going to get you far in life. And get I'm like, to work, boy. Yeah, yeah, like, get to work. <laughs> like, nine to five shifts. Like, get to work. And I was Not like, even, bro. Because most of the parents are construction workers. Yeah, exactly. In the and Hispanic uh, community. Yeah, no, yeah. My, my dad was a chef, so he wanted me in the kitchen. Oh, so it was nine So five. I was like, you know, like, this isn't for me. So, yeah, just when I they saw that I was starting to get followers and followers, I feel like, little by little, they were, like, they learned how to accept that, okay, like, he's doing something, he's doing something. When I started traveling was when they were like, oh, like, okay, like, like it's actually serious yeah, yeah but in the beginning like you know i feel like every parent is not as supportive just because it's social media and maybe sometimes they think that we won't get far like that but social media is it's, it's, it's crazy how your life man it's, it's the it's the easiest way you can get to the top it's the easiest mm -hmm. and hardest way because you don't wake up one day and be like okay i'm gonna be a social media influencer and you get it like from here and one day like you have to work for it you have to grind for it months and months and months until you 
reach that point. And the most important thing is staying relevant and staying in the game. Yeah, and a lot of people that are not like um, familiar to social media, they they have this misconception that people that work in, on internet, like uh, like social media and stuff, are lazy. When I feel like it's totally the opposite because there's a lot of work that you have. For to me, put it's in. been harder than than working than like before. Yeah, it's been harder for me, but at the same time, I enjoy it. You know, that's exactly what I say. Like I feel like people sometimes they get what I say. Uh, doing social media is sometimes harder than working like a real 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 job just because i feel like a real job is a lot of phys physical stuff but on social media you do everything like mental mental so i mean your your brain goes it's like a whole roller coaster honestly bro because there's some days where you, where you get so many ideas and you film like up to seven videos yeah and then like for me like i can go for, like a whole week with no ideas and i felt i feel like <laughs> um, <laughs> i feel like it, it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy. Girl about it <laughs> I feel like it's crazy that after you started like getting into into social media, I feel like for me at least, I haven't like um, been like the same in the way that that like everything where I go to. Instead of I do enjoy the moment where I'm at at mm -hmm. the moment, but I'm always thinking of what ideas can I do in that place or what what ideas or what videos I'm gonna post tomorrow. You know, so I'm like not living in in the present, and I'm just always like trying to think of what videos i can do here you know like sometimes i go out with my family and we go to the beach or something you know and they're all like oh in the pool and everything you know and taking pictures and having fun just like me but i'm always like like okay what can i record now what can i do this and time just flies and then when you least expect it like it's the end of the day you got to go to sleep and you didn't really get to to like enjoy in a way like a bunch of things you know because you're always focused on what am i going to record what am i going to do and and everything and, and i feel, feel like no no go ahead Jeff. But I feel, <laughs> <laughs> but I, feel I feel like at the end of the day it's worth it. Uh, yeah, when yeah, you obviously. see like people enjoying your videos and stuff, like Yeah, that's the that's the that's that's why honestly it's worth it. I said <laughs> that's what keeps <laughs> 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 I just interrupted you and just made sure I, I said the same thing you said. Yeah, because like I enjoy going through my comments and, and seeing like positive stuff like, Hey, I love your videos, yeah. I love your content, you thing. always make me laugh and stuff like that. Especially about those people that are going through a hard day or having a hard time and knowing that they watch your videos and that makes them feel better. It's just like it's amazing. The it's best amazing. feeling ever. That's honestly. the best feeling ever because we didn't trade it for anything. Honestly like it wouldn't at all and i feel like social media is actually i mean if you think about it we met we came all together and we've been going up together but there's not a lot of people that go up together like that. Like they have to have like a solo path always yeah. like they go like through like themselves like solo so how was it someone explain the story of how we met of how all of us met, met we never like, we never contact. answered we never answered the the uh, other question of yeah. how our parents, uh, what did they think? Bro, we, we went <laughs> off track oh, yeah, so I bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just asked for a pencil. <laughs> you gave me a whole story. <laughs> okay, you you said yours. I want I want to say like no no go like, go what, how my like what my parent my parents thought. Well, my mom. Um, what? I don't know. I forgot we were still. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly forgot what what title we were in, bro. I just kept it going. <laughs> there you go. It's the first time. First time, yeah. yeah. Campus hey, I, hey, hey, just a little commercial, just a little break. I just want to say that we're doing really good. Yeah, yeah. I like listening to your voice, even like Real, right I, here. I can listen to your yeah, like I can listen to your voice right here, even <laughs> though you're all the way down there. It's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy how this works. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what like, did your parents think my, about it? Campus? Well, from my experience, was um, like you said, um, it's hard at the beginning. You know, Hispanic, Hispanic parents, it's it's hard sometimes because all all our parents, what they want is just to. To see us succeed in a way, you know, mm -hmm. and I completely understand that. So, for me, it was. I mean, I didn't live with. I wasn't living with my mom. So for me, it was like I would just tell her, like, "Mom, I really want to do this and everything," and she would same. Like she would be like, "Focus on school, focus on this." But I'm like, "But I really want to do it. Like I really like it." And um, and it <laughs> was like, like I didn't have to deal with her a lot because I wasn't with her in person. So it was just through phone. So whenever we hanged up. I would just keep doing my stuff, you know, and I would like some, I, there was points where I wasn't going to school anymore because I really enjoyed doing the videos and it was, it was doing good. So to the point where I had to drop out from school, you know, without my mom even knowing, like I dropped out, she's in Mexico you living. You didn't even tell her? Uh, I told her after, like I told her at, way after she, I was still doing school. I dropped out my junior year without her even knowing. 
And I was I was doing um I was doing social media. Tough decision. Yeah, man. that's so tough. But tough I was decision. like I was like, or it's now or never. I'm like, it's now or never. It, it's happening for a reason, you know. It's the videos, all the consecration, all the support. It's happening for a reason. I'm right. like, I, I only got one shot at this, or I'm in school 100, percent or I'm in social media 100. percent exactly. So I just took the risk, dropped out, and then. My mom, um, she didn't know. She would tell me how school, how is everything going? I'm like, oh, it's going good, mom. It's well, sweetie. It's, it's, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Straight A's. <laughs> but I, and I wasn't doing, I wasn't doing anything. And then the first time she came to visit me from from Mexico after me being in the U.S., uh -huh. she she came to the U.S. and uh, she saw that Monday I, I didn't wake up and I didn't go to school. <laughs> I wasn't because it was all online. Yeah. I didn't open. It. And she's like, "Are you gonna do school?" I'm like, "Mom." I'm not going to school anymore. Uh -oh. It's been like, it's been like, it's been, it's, been, <laughs> it's been like six months, mom. And she like freaked out on me. She's like, what do you mean you're not you, doing? Daddy? Sico, como es posible? <laughs> How is that possible? And I told her, yeah, mom, like I'm not doing it. And then after that, like she stayed a couple of days and she was like, she didn't agree with it. But that's the first time whenever I went with her to the mall, mm -hmm. she saw so many people were coming to me and taking pictures that, that she actually started thinking about it, yeah. you know? And then I was like, mom, like I, you can make a, a living off of it. You know, you can, it's a career. It's not just distraction and everything. It's a passion. You like it. Exactly. So, yeah. And I feel like uh, most, not all of them, but most of the, the Hispanic parents are like pretty old school. Yeah. So I feel uh -oh. like it's really hard for them to understand that you can actually make a living out of just posting videos online instead of going to a nine to five. Just because like they, they didn't live that. And they're like, like, how can you do that? Because they literally ask like how. Yeah. And that's why you can't get mad at them. Or anything, you know, you can't get. Yeah. you gotta listen. Honestly, the way my mom reacted, it, she was just like, "It's whatever." Like, <laughs> yeah. And the first time she like actually watched my video, she would show it to her friends and stuff. And I decided to block her. So this oh, day, bro, yeah, no way. I blocked her from Facebook, Instagram, <gasps> TikTok, Dude, everything. Mama, mama. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't. Did, did she ever say anything? Ah, uh, yeah. She was like, "Why you block me?" And I was like, "Cause, cause you be showing up." On my business online. <laughs> She's like, you're posting your life. Like, everybody knows your room now because you're posting all these videos, but you're mad because I'm showing my friends your videos. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, I understand. You, but I cannot, I cannot till this day, I cannot be in the room when someone's watching my video. Dude, like, it's so Oh my God. God. When I'm with the family, we all get together and then my Theo or my aunt or, or my grandpa, they like pop up a video of me on their phone and my voice is in the room and everyone's like laughing and they look at me. I'm like, no, it's no, so embarrassing. Or especially when they come up and you're like, hey, are you the Hispanic mom? Oh, oh. <laughs> I haven't really had that. Uh, dude, right? <laughs> dude, no, no, no. I had one time like in a, in a family gathering, they, they just connected the phone to the TV. <gasps> oh my God. And they put a whole compilation that I made and posted <laughs> oh, on, no. on, on YouTube. So I basically not the dug my own Not video. the compilation. Not, yeah, yeah, the compilation. It, it was just the dad, bro. That's crazy. The dad. <laughs> <laughs> Commercial break. <laughs> Welcome back to Catching. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we covered this topic now. So now, who is someone that you guys would love to collab with like out of us because we already collabed someone that you guys really want to collab with like it's your like eternal goal like, oh. oh my god i have to collab with this Abelardo Camposano, great. such a fan man i would, would be amazing on this guy now nah, i've heard he's really I, me I, i've, I've heard he, abelardo's pretty um busy this guy joe so i don't know if that will be <laughs> he's, a, he's a whole different person bro i oh, met yeah, him dude, i you, met him in person i thought he was gonna be like, like hey what's up man like like a cool dude you know then nah, he he's a douche. He did, yeah, <laughs> he, didn't get, he didn't give me a picture. I asked for a picture, bro. A simple picture. Nah, dude, get this, bro. I was following Abelardo Campuzano on TikTok for so <laughs> much time, and the man did not ever this. follow me. So you know what I did? I unfollowed. Him. <laughs> I remember that message from Willie a long time ago, I, and I answered. I answered that message, but I wasn't following him. He like, man, I really like your videos. I, I, I hope one day we can collab. And now we live together. <laughs> yeah, no, so. I saw this guy on TikTok and I thought he I thought he was hilarious, bro. So, you know, like he was someone that I also looked up to like when doing the videos. So I remember I sent him a message once when he was on 80,000 on uh, barely 80,000 on Instagram. 
And I, was I was like, at 8,000 on Instagram? Yeah. On Instagram? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. No, 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 not 8,000. I think it was TikTok. Yeah, 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 TikTok. No, nah, on TikTok, when you sent me that message, I was like 800K. Oh, 800K. 800K. Uh, well, anyways, um, I hit him up and I was like, yo, bro, like, I really like your videos. I hope one day we can collab. And I was like- Left know, him on scene. <laughs> next day, I was, like, I was like, he's never going to see it. The next day I wake up and the myth himself answers saying, <laughs> hey, bro, yeah, like- I'd be down to make a video like, you know, we should work on something together soon and this and that. I had barely woken up. I woke up and I was like, ah! and but that's, that's crazy because I had you in my, even though like I wasn't following you for like a long time, I, <laughs> I had you in my mind because whenever I was like, okay, it was a point where I was like already like a two point something million followers. And I was like, I, I don't know no one that does videos just like me. I feel like I'm the only person that's like, just in my room doing it. I know that there was other content creators, but I was like, I want to get to me people that are doing the same thing as me, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm always just in my room. I never go out. I'm just recording videos and I see that other people are posting as well. I want to get to know them and I want to get to like, you know, hang out with them, get to know how they are, you know, their stories or experience of how they're doing videos. So um, that's when one day I decided to, you know, just, I was like, okay, I'm not going to be shy, embarrassed. I'm just going to start hitting them up. And that's when I hit you up and I'm like, hey man, like, you want to give me your phone number? We'll get into a face. I, I, I was knocking doors, selling solar panels when this guy, this guy called me. So. <laughs> <For a second. laughs> I was like, hey, dude. Yeah, bro. I was, I was like, yeah, no, I was selling solar panels when Abelardo called me. Uh, I was knocking on doors and then he's like, hey, I can have your number. And I was like, what? I was like, this guy. And, and we FaceTimed then. And, it, and, and it was a, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was uh, a similar story to the rest of the guys, right? The one, the, of, from the, of the group. Yeah, everyone, um, for everyone, Basi, uh, Jose, Mac, uh, that's like the first group we all, group, group, group. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was the first uh, group that ever got, we ever got together, we met in LA, we came to LA for <laughs> one week, I remember I, I hit up Basi, I hit up Jose, I hit up, uh, well, Mac, I knew him already, like, I've been on him for like, still a year before I met them, and I hit them up, I knew him already, mm -hmm. so he was like the first one of the group that, that like, I met. And, um, and yeah, we, we just all got into this FaceTime call. We made a group and we were also hyped up. We were like in seven or eight months, we're going to get together. And we would talk like every day. We would like, like, um, we would t be texting each other. <laughs> Those guys. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I, I thought we were going to play. Cool, wait, bro. Wait, I wait, we wait, let me, let me just, uh, commercial break. Wait. Be back with five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I'm good. So yeah, we met in LA for the first time and, and that was, that was honestly, one of the best experiences that I'm never going to forget because that was the first time I met other content creators and we clicked. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what uh, is bro you have water what already, bro. <laughs> oh my God, what is happening? Oh, uh, but in the roller coaster? <laughs> yeah, we were screaming. We were, before this, we were, uh, we were at Santa Monica and we were on the roller coaster and we were screaming so loud. Oh, he got the LA accent now. Santa, Santa Monica. Santa, Santa Monica. Fun fact, the LA people don't pronounce the T. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Santa. Santa, Santa, Santa Monica. Monica. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. <laughs> Santa Monica, dude. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying is um, we clicked. We had this connection. Um, actually, me and Willie, the first, the second day we got together, we got into a fight. Me and Willie. <laughs> Great connection. <laughs> because, I mean, we're getting to know each Our other. You know, started hard. We were, we were getting to know each other. And, I mean, it's something that none of us was used to be, you know, with other content creators. So yeah. it was totally different. But honestly, one of the best experiences. We got together, we started making videos, and it just it was like a boom. You know? Then y'all went to, to Houston all together, and that's when I came in the, in the after equation. After the LA, we all went back for months, and we didn't see each other, but we were still talking on the group. Mm -hmm. You know, remember? We were talking on the group, and we were still like FaceTime and everything. Yeah, we literally were like, uh, we're best friends. We still are best friends. We, we would FaceTime all the time. Like, just Jose, Mac, Basic. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we would FaceTime all the time. And yeah. then we got invited to, no, we didn't get invited. We wanted to do it again, but now in Houston, yeah. that's where Bossy was at. So we, we went to Houston and, um, and we did it again. And that's when we met Jay because he was another content creator that wasn't in our group, but he was in another content, content house nice. and, uh, we just hit them up and we just, uh, we yeah, all met, you know? Yeah. But, um, I feel like it's crazy, bro. How how y'all literally just texted each other and made it happen. Can't believe that. Yeah, because honestly, it, I feel like it wasn't me. I feel like it was a sign. Exactly, because you were like what, 
How old were you when, when you did all I that? I was 18. And you were the one that got everybody Everyone together. Everyone together. And the thing is that, bro, I remember exactly how I thought of it. Like, I was taking a shower, and then all of a sudden, in my mind was like, I was just thinking about videos and everything. I was like, wait, what What am I doing? Like, I'm just not going to be shy or embarrassing. So now we know why he takes long in the shower. Oh, dude, this guy takes forever. This man like, takes like what? a whole hour in the bro, toilet. Okay, in the toilet. <laughs> he said, <laughs> when I... <laughs> <laughs> when I'm showering, I, I'm like brainstorming ideas and stuff. And that time I was, uh, I was thinking of, okay, what's next? Like I was showering and there, and I was like, what's next? There has to be something else that, that we can do that, that could be big. And that's when I thought, okay, I'm just going to get together with, I, I didn't know who, but I was like, who makes a similar content as me? And at that time, like the, the faces, uh, uh, Basi, Willie, Jose, and, um, and me that I knew that I was doing that type of, of uh, videos, you know? So I was like, I'm just going to DM them. Um, I don't care anymore about the rejection, if they answer or not. And everyone, everyone answered and we all clicked, you know? Yeah. That was like a, that was like a how, do you, how do you deal with uh, rejection and stuff? I'm <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on, I'm moving on. <laughs> moving on, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, um, honestly, we just met uh, that, that summer, which was almost a year ago, yeah, like yeah. 11 months ago. That's, That's when crazy. I met the group because I was in the other content house and then we got together we were just hanging out. We would get together to hang out. Yeah, they then, just came to the house a couple of times. I didn't really talk to them. I was like, ah. I remember I, I for a YouTube video, um, I punched you back. I did a- uh, You knocked me out, I bro. did. A, I did a bit where me and Willie uh, with gloves, we were going at it in the YouTuber versus TikToker fight. Yeah. After that, like after uh -huh. we saw the fight, we got inspired and we're like, okay, let's put on some gloves. And me and Willie went at it and then he was a ref. And then I didn't, no. I didn't see him and I swinged like hard and Willie like went- Okay. No, it's because Willie really went back and I hit Jay in the you face. Were, you were turned around and you were turned around and you were because I was behind you and I guess you felt like you thought probably thought I was behind you again. No, no, no. Because and Jay came from behind. It's because the thing I was the ref. I was the ref the whole time. You were trying and to I, separate yeah, us. Yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna get in between if I if I see that the fight is getting getting serious. It's and bro, y'all y'all were going at it, dude. Bro. Honestly, like, y'all were yeah, hitting each other uh, hard, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Kampu was all red and you were just like Matt just punching the air and just punching whatever we were, getting, we were going at it so that's why I feel like when Camposano felt some, someone touch him he he, he would have socked to me like that now that I see the video he would have done that to me but oh Blessing in disguise. I had to take a one blessing the team, in, right? A blessing in disguise came in and <laughs> you know, I just went in the, it, I, I just I just don't know what was going through my head at that moment but like I just went I was I was just like damn they're fighting okay <laughs> Bro, that's like, crazy. That's literally the way, like, we didn't even know each other. That was, like, the second time we saw each other, but we yeah. weren't even talking like that. Like, we were just see each other, we were like, hey, man, what's up? But we didn't really, like, get to talk, like, friends, friends, you know, about, like, conversations yeah. friends have. And all of a sudden, like, I just hit you. That was so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. And I feel like that, <laughs> you never apologized. You never apologized. <laughs> I, did, I did. That was the first time we ever actually met another content, like, we really, really, like, a Yeah, because house. it was just us all the time. It was just us the And whole then time. we met uh, you guys. And then it was like, oh, they're cool and everything. And you know. yeah, and I feel like like I was in the same position as well. Like that was my first time actually experiencing living and creating with other creators, and it was it was it was honestly kind of hard for me. Yeah, yeah, it was hard for me to like uh, like try to make videos with the other people because I was so used to and so stuck to making skits with myself. And I feel like it was hard for you as well. I mean, I don't know, but I feel like out of experience, like especially when you move into like a house with like. A lot of people that you're yeah because it was you were just placed that in you, were, that you never met before eight of us i think yeah. yeah i mean it, it's hard because like you don't know them like for us i know that we knew each other we but were, we were all guys and we were all talking and, and we yeah. were all, we were all talking and at times still it was like difficult for us because you're living with a bunch of guys and and that's always like a challenge you know Dude, so like yeah I, I could just imagine you that you didn't know it's crazy because i only knew, i only knew one of them it was this honduran girl because we were in the honduran group chat honduran creator group chat oh, okay. dude but it was crazy the first the first um oh what was that what was that word i'm looking for the first uh reaction to uh, yeah. to the to the whole environment i remember i was pulling up to the house in the uber right and i was getting my bag and all I see is Gilbert looking, sneaking through the window, bro. <laughs> and then he opens the door and like two cameras come in at me. And I'm like, bro, I don't know what to say. Like, I've never been in this environment. Welcome like, to MTV Cribs. <laughs> like, it felt so weird, bro, because I had this whole group of like super ecstatic creators just talking to me and stuff. And I was the main 
uh, point of attention since, of since I was you're the new guy. Yeah, yeah. So I was the new guy and everybody was like talking to me and asking questions and, and it was just different, bro. Like it was a whole environment and I thought that I was never going to get used to it and now, you know, we got like three cameras going on. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, and honestly, like I feel like in such a short time we didn't know each other and now like, like all of us, like especially you, Jay, since you were like a part of another group and you came, like we all got together again and it's just like, it's like we blended in right away. It's like, because we all have similar backgrounds and we all have similar, uh, not that, not just that, but like also like, um, like we like a lot of the similar stuff, you know, yeah. between us, like, you know, soccer, um, videos, making videos, movies, music, we, we, we kind of listen we to the love, same, yeah, same type Yeah, we listen music. to the same type of music. Listen, 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 listen. Don't let Houston me get you started, bro. Don't, bro, ever, bro. don't ever show these guys a song because they will play like 10 I times get addictive. I get addicted Sanders. to songs. As soon as I listen to a song that I like, I play it literally over and over and over and I make I know you're not talking about because all I need is, is your love. love. <laughs> that yeah. I used to love that song, bro, but Willie, every time he had the ox, bro, it was, <laughs> it was that was his go-to song. <laughs> oh, dude, don't let me get me started with it. No, no, ten million. Oh, that's another yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. No, nobody's gonna see <laughs> Damn, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. All right, so what would be like an advice you you guys would like to give, like uh, like anyone starting content um, creation? I I honestly would say that if you like to make videos, if, but if you actually are passionate about, it, don't look at other stuff. You know, like if you actually enjoy doing videos and what you're doing, just go a hundred percent on it and don't really care about what others have to say because at the, at the end of the day, it's your own, it's your path by yourself. You know, you're, you're putting direction towards it. So you need to be disciplined. You need to have that grind and have that hunger of like trying to make something, but because you enjoy it and you like it, you know? Yeah. So just go for it. Go I, for it. I feel like one of, uh, one of the main advices I would give is consistency. Oh, oh yeah. Like, consistency. Uh, like sometimes people blew, blow up and then they just like slow it down like drastically and that's when everything starts going down and i've and flexibility like flex flexibility. flexibility flexibility thank you um spanish is my first language <laughs> uh, flexibility because uh changing your content is not easy and i feel like we've all been through that where there's a moment where we wanted to change when we wanted to make that change and um it took me like four months, bro, to like get used to it, to the new content, to forget about the dad character and stuff. And I feel like just be 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 able to change and adapt to yeah. to whatever's going on or whatever's trending. I feel like that's a big and most importantly, if you like to do something like some type of niche, but you you're really passionate about it, just do it. Focus on on you liking it. Exactly. You know? Focus on you liking it because people will see that through through your your videos and they will like it as well i There's feel like an advice that i would give would be you know like campusano said like don't ever don't ever do it because you're like oh if i do this maybe i'll get a lot of money like in the future like do it because because you like it just because because yeah. you want to do it because if you do it for some other reason you're not really gonna get far and good luck it, it, it's like your There's luck is gonna run now like you have to, you have to be and then you have to do something that you're so passionate about and that's what's going to keep you going and going exactly. and, going. and there's nothing better than than doing what you like and having fun while doing it get out of your comfort zone you know i've always said that you got to do things you never thought you were going to do to get things you never thought you were going to have you got to get out there you can't uh, be you can't be you can't be scared he said in a quote he searched up la quotes <laughs> oh he was my looking God. it up bro that's why he was so concentrated I've, on I've his phone said, in the car i've right. said that same quote Ever since I left Mexico when I was 15. Yeah. I've said the same thing when, when I was. You good? You good, bro? <laughs> I almost fell off the chair. I've always said this. I've always had that same quote. And a lot of my friends, like, like uh, I say that quote in, in Spanish. A lot of my friends, like, like every time that quote is mentioned, like, like they say, oh, Abel. You know, because it's something I have, like, really present. You got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to try new things. And Don't honestly, be just not, like. Don't. <laughs> keep interrupting. And honestly, and not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, not yeah. like not caring for what people say because there's there's gonna be people who support you, and people who like doubt you, you know, and people who criticize what you do and your come up. So you just have to stick to it, like not not care what anyone else thinks about what you're doing because you're doing it for yourself at the end of the day. You know? Yeah, dude, because it's crazy. Like a change I've noticed on me is just gaining that confidence, like to be like in front of a camera or just oh. holding a phone and making a video in front of, of like a crowd. Like at at the beginning, I. I 
Uh, <laughs> I was like, dude, is the mic cut off? So. <laughs> ja. <laughs> ja. Yeah, because because I remember when, <laughs> yeah, dude. Whenever <laughs> when I first started, bro, like I would have never thought that I I, w- I was going to be comfortable like doing all this in front of the crowds and people like now i just don't care like i can just pull out my phone and start recording bro look, look, look at your no. videos look at your first videos and look <laughs> look at your first videos and look the way you would act in front of the camera so awkward like i look at them dude, dude, so yeah. awkward dude, yeah. so slow bro you talk so slow like, and like you look like you're scared like it's crazy and the editing evolves as well These are everything. Top five editing was so bad Hispanic mom says like, everything, so everything. I, remember, I remember I used to be like shy of my mom listening to me while I was recording so I, so like in my first videos I would be like whispering to the phone oh, yeah. or I would just wait for everybody to leave the house Dude. and sometimes I would get <laughs> mad when they stayed the whole day and I had a video idea bro bro I would tell my mom to go to the room bro for me it was different I was I didn't have no one in the house, so I could scream and I would Dude. get confidence by like I was building up my confidence in front of the camera, like by myself, you know. So that's something. This is what happens. Yeah, but when I started, <laughs> I would when you have a Mexican like when mom. I say this is what happens when you have a Mexican mom. Like I go back to to like the first videos that I did like that. I'm like, this is what happens when you have a, and now it's like this is what <laughs> it gets yeah, louder you, throughout you get, the years. This is what happens you when you have a, you yeah. get louder throughout time. It's like you start so slow and so like mellow. It's just you gain the confidence. Man. You gain the personality. Yeah, exactly. Personality. Yeah, you, you gain the character. Like what you are now. You what gain character? the <laughs> the Mexican mom character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, dude. But I remember um, with my mom. That's that's when this is going back to the how they reacted. I remember she would get mad every time I would tell her to like just be quiet for a video for like a 15 second scene and stuff, and she would get super mad. And then when I started like gaining followers and stuff, like she would notice, and like um, it be- it became to the point where I was just like, "Hey, can you leave the house." Oh. Uh, and she would be like, and "She would be like, all right, I'm gonna go shop with him." That's crazy. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. This no, was- what's what's your uh, one more thing? What's like your goal, how do you see yourself in the next five, 10 years? Like, what do you want to do? What are you like, what's the next thing for you guys? You know, what's the next thing, really? What's the next thing for me, man. I've, I've always, since when I was little, I've the big screen, man. Uh, being an actor, just, so being, he to hit it, boy. Being, just being, just being in a show or even being in a movie has always like, oh, I've always wanted to do that since I was little. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, like I've, yeah. I've worked so hard to be on my social media platform yeah. and I, I want to evolve into, into <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I want to evolve into being an actor, you know, uh, that's always been my dream, being an actor and making it on the big screens, on a billboard or something, man. Like That's it's, crazy. Yeah. That's, that's one of my biggest lifetime goals. Like it used to be, honestly, uh, I wanted to be like a YouTuber, but after, like after, I don't know, like deep thinking, deep thinking, like actor life is, is what I want. Like, for the rest of my life, I, I could do that forever. What about you guys? For me, same thing, you know, acting and... They're just copying me. Yeah. <laughs> because Ooh. literally, listen, literally the same... Um, listen, listen. <laughs> because of the same type of video yeah. we do, it's acting, it's comedy, it's it's always... You're always acting, you know, in front of the camera. Yeah. So it's it's something that, that, like, I I didn't know I wanted to be an actor until I start like, looking into it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it's the beginning, you know, all the movies, Spider-Man... So many movies you would watch growing up. It's just insane. You know, it's, it's amazing. So we basically, um, like two months ago, we were able to probably have our first, like being on set. And after like experiencing, experiencing that, honestly, <laughs> like, like you fall in love with it. Like, at least for me, like I enjoyed it so much. We were on set for like 12, eight hours a day for like a week straight. Yeah, it was rough nights. Yeah. Rough and nights. it was honestly, I remember they had like a bunch of Red Bulls, just uh, <laughs> energy drinks. <laughs> you like enjoy, you know, you enjoy every second you, you have to get into this character. You have to literally, it's like, if you were playing, like if you were a kid, you're just like giving life to another it's, character it's, and another person. That's amazing. And, and, and it's beautiful. crazy. Cause, cause the, the character you had to play that we like, like everybody as a individual, I feel like it was, it was like a whole opposite of the, the of things who we, you are, of who we are oh. and, and, and how we act in front of the camera and TikTok. Yeah. I feel like, uh, like it was just crazy how we were able to, you know, transition into that. Yeah. Someone I really, um, admire as an actor, um, Eugenio de Reyes, honestly, Dude, yeah. like I love him and, uh, I, I'm really inspired on his work, being able to work and do shows and movies and, and Latin America can also be in, in the U.S., you know, being able to dominate both languages and, and just be able to be in all, all like all the places and recording and 
everything is just amazing, you know? Yeah. So that's, that's definitely something I want to do. Yeah, that is, someone, that, that is someone I definitely look up to since since uh, he's doing the transition slow by slow into the American market because, like, all my content is in, is in Spanish. Most of my followers are from Latin America. And, like, uh, I've always had this conversation that it's it's really hard for me to, like, you know, to let them know that I'm from here, that I speak English, that I go to, like, school here and stuff like that. So they think you live in... Yeah, in they think I'm... Honduras. I'm, no, Mexico. Everybody oh, Mexico. thinks I'm, I'm from I, Mexico. I thought I thought you were. From, I thought you were in Mexico. Yeah, I was one of the ones that I thought you were from Mexico. Yeah, so uh, I feel like like um, just by hanging out with y'all, I'm slowly doing that transition into the American market. I can see United States in the statistics. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so you know, I got a little American on me. <laughs> For us, it's the opposite. We have all um, American audience. You know, Hispanics in in the U.S. and we want the Mexican. Yeah, like it will be, but now hanging out with him and and uh, the other guy that his name is Abelardo, the other guy, <laughs> the other guy, shout our to, other friend, shout out to Abelardo. Panita, Abelardo. Um, I've seen that. What I've grown say? on on uh, Latin Latin market, you know. <laughs> like before, it was ninety seven percent U U S and three mm. percent Mexico, and now it's uh ninety three U S and seven percent Mexico. Uh, it went up. It went up. That's the magic of collaborating with other creators. Yeah, it's yeah, big. It's crazy because because you you start creating that flow from from their audience into your exactly, and page. you just want to be known like like in other places as well, especially in other countries. I mean, big countries like Mexico. Like you want to be known there, just so everyone can know who you are. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we got a little off track. Back to yeah, my what, goals. What, yeah, back to your goals. Well, dude, I. I honestly, I'm honestly trying to decide, but if I could do both, I would like honestly love to. Like, I love music. Um, I've never actually had sing like for a- us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, sing Jay. something. Come on for our first podcast. Sing something. Maybe lock them doors and turn them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to be in America. <laughs> No, yeah, like I, I would love to make my own music and stuff, but acting is another passion. And looking at Eugenio Derbez, it's crazy how how he can do both in Spanish and English, and yeah. and that is someone that I would like, uh, would love to work with and and like follow his path as is, well. Is there someone that does um, music and also acting that you look up to? Because I know there's people out there that are actors and singers, but is there someone you look up to or you see? I mean, does that? You, you can see it. There's there's a plenty of actors you can see, like Wolf. Selena Gomez. Will Smith as well. He sings? Yeah. Dude, what if he sings? He sings, yes. Will Smith? Yes. Oh, no, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, okay, so you look Come up on, to him. Put, put his music in your mouth, Dude. bro. <laughs> so you look up to him. Yeah. I, I feel like it's crazy for them. Like, it's like you have two opportunities, two ways to go. And, um, yeah, honestly, I would love to do both. But if if I get the opportunity to just do one, I'll I'll be fine doing Either or music or or acting. I feel like everyone has a role model, like specific role model. Like my role model is way different to yours. Guys. Mine is John Cena. <laughs> I grew up watching WWE, and I've always wanted. I when I was younger, I wanted to be a WWE wrestler <laughs> as well. <laughs> but like I have so many scars and bruises because of WWE growing up. But um, John Cena is someone that I really, I really want to meet because I, since little, I always looked up to him. He's in movies. He does a lot of stuff, you know, and he's for, one of them. And The Rock. The Rock as well. The Rock. The dude. Rock. Bro. It's for crazy, me, bro. For me, it's, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano uh, Ronaldo. El Vicho. Not even because, I, like, I like soccer, but just because, like, his come-ups, you know, he started with nothing and how he is now. It's just, like, it's, it's inspirational. Like, I always yeah. say well, that. I like, can call him if you want. Dude, you have his number? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Please. His Snapchat, too. <laughs> <laughs> his kick. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying, though. Yeah, dude, it's it's just so inspirational, like, what he's been through and, like, everything that he's achieved. And you're just, like, like Abelardo was saying, like, that hunger towards getting it, like, he's, like, inspires the, you. he's the perfect definition of, like, like wanting it and yeah, wanting it. His work ethic is insane. His work ethic is, like, the best work ethic I, I have ever seen in my life. It's it's honestly, like, amazing. And I feel like everyone always has, like, when they ask me, who's your role model, they think I'm going to say, like, some actor I'm Pusana. <laughs> don't follow back so nah, nah. <laughs> but nah like ronaldo man if i one day i meet him dude i will faint bro i'll cry, I'll cry. so it would be like the same the same reaction you had with campus then. Yeah. nah dude i mean <laughs> i was i was practicing my acting thing right there with campusano and it worked so nah Uh, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> after this podcast <laughs> he blocks me <laughs> 
Well, I mean, I feel like we re- we we touch every single point we had, right? We actually this, did. It. This, we this actually was, did it. This was fun. Yeah, but we actually didn't touch every point. No. No. Uh, who's the? Who, <laughs> How long is this? Let me go home. <laughs> who's the funniest of the group? What do you guys think is is, is the funniest? Uh, I, I don't want y'all to get booty hurt. <laughs> nah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Who, who do you think is the funniest of the group? Like, honestly, like, out of, like, the boys, like, who do you think is the funniest? You can't include yourself. Mm, you know, Jade, ah, I feel like Kampu is just a funny person in general. Like, you see Kampu and you, like... You see my face and you, you laugh. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, we see your face and we laugh. And, like, with Willie, it's different because uh, he, he, he seems serious all the time. Yeah. Like, you look at him and you're, you're going to think he's this tough guy. Before knowing me, if you see Hell me yeah. in the street, would you think that... That I'm probably like like really serious like before knowing me like uh, like know. You, you know you know I'm, I'm a comedian yeah, yeah you just by me. looking at you you know you have that uh, that comedian face <laughs> <laughs> that comedian. No, that's, you're that's just crazy. funny in general like you can make anyone laugh yeah dude like, yeah. like I've seen it like when we meet someone new you always like doing the little dancing thing you're you're always like throwing a comment out there and it, it's it's crazy bro. yeah bro that's yeah. a that's a talent that, like, he he's he's pretty fun that's my. That's the funniest person too, in my perspective. Like being, like being with this guy, oh, it's hilarious, bro. Like so hilarious. Like you can laugh for hours, honestly. Well, I'm glad I make you guys laugh just that's, a little. That's, that's insane. Thank you. That's a compliment. <laughs> As a person, though, because the TikToks, you know. What about the What about the most organized? Oh, uh, I I seen I seen. I feel like I'm, Jose. Yeah. Yeah, Jy. 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 Boy, Jy. He's right here. Organized. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> JY is it's behind so, the scenes right now. He is so organized, honestly. I mean, you're sleeping with him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you share rooms. We sometimes were roommates, roommates. Roommate. And how is it? Like, he's dude. Clean, yes, he's no, no, no. Like, like I put him as an example one time. I was telling y'all to clean the house <laughs> because look, honestly, I I let myself go a little because we had the 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 second floor. Ah. So I was like, no one's gonna come up here. So I'm just gonna, you know, like not not care. But back in the closet in Houston, my area was the cleanest one, bro. And you know that. You're still. Hell stuff, nah. Bro, Hell yo, no. Yo, I took a picture, bro. I have a picture, bro. <laughs> this man had everything all around, bro. Oh and I had my stuff in hangers, like folded. Nah, Jay, quit lying. Dude, I, I saw your underwear on the floor. And hey, listen, uh-huh. I have one pair of underwear, bro. Like. Estaba en la en el like he had just showered and he left his clothes and I was like, bro, come on. Yeah, you can't. He had a little, little stain in it. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's the worst influence? The, a bad influence? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why you asking, bro? Why you asking? <laughs> why you asking? Nah, nah, nah. I feel like. Uh, oh, oh, he went like this. Like nah, 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 he went nah, like this. Nah, nah, you can't. There's definitely I think, not. Uh, nah, you, we, we gotta be honest. Nah, nah, why, nah, 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 nah. Don't let him influence you into making this decision. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yo, 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 me, what? <laughs> Look, not, I feel like not bad influence. It, not a bad influence, but um, just things you, you wouldn't do by yourself. Like, if you're by yourself, you just don't do things, you know? <laughs> Who? One, two, three. Winning! <laughs> what? <laughs> but not in a bad way, though. Not in no, a bad no. way, dude. Like, what me? But you push us to to do I, something we wouldn't. No, do. like like an example. Like it's like okay, like it's, oh. it's 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and uh, we're already in bed. And let's go to the store. Let's go get. Let's go like probably get chips or something. And like I wouldn't leave my house at 10 p.m. to go to the store, but Thanks. like we go and we get out of our way to do uh, things. You know? Dude, honestly, like if, if I if I would have to say. Uh, uh, so I honestly put an example. Let it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, an example. <laughs> Got him on the spot. The people know that I ain't lying. <laughs> uh, I think, on my perspective, like not a bad influence, but like Campusano said, I think it'd have to be Jay Torres. Oh, <laughs> Jay. why? Why? But why though? Put an example. I feel like, I feel like his ideas are just like, like uh, I can't think of an example. <laughs> I know. There's no proof. No, I, I'm in the spot. I'm in the spot right now, but it's just like, like if we moving were on, <laughs> moving on. So, so moving final on. conclusion, Willie. Do you agree with that, Willie? Yeah. No way. Yeah. All right, best what? style. Best, uh, best style. I honestly, lately, I like Max style. 
Have you seen it's how a, Mac, always, yeah, yeah, Mac yeah. dress is really oh, nice? Yeah, I like his style. It's like really, it's like casual, really if it's casual, like but fancy. Like it's clean. Well, fancy at the it's same clean. time. I, I like yeah. his style. Yeah. I feel like JY got a little drip going. Oh, yeah, JY, JY, yeah. With yeah, the too. J's. Dude, yeah, you know, JY, the bro. With those J's, the perm. Oh, <laughs> the perm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it did, it did make a whole difference, bro. The perm. Yeah. Uh, you look, Jay White, Jay you White. look worse. Just go back to straight. <laughs> oh, Jay White like, says that he doesn't have a perm, but he says that it's natural. But I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Jay White. Yeah. All right, and I know we're, I I know your guys' answer. Who is stays the longest in the bathroom? I feel like we already said that, bro. One, two, two three. three. Come Come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, I like I like to enjoy my time when I go to the bathroom. If I'm gonna. For 40 minutes? I mean, I sit down, I start watching like a show or like, like a YouTube a show. Video. Like, would y'all do that? Dude, I've, ha I've, had to, I've had to brush my teeth while this guy we, is in the- we. We've had to brush our teeth while this guy's in the bathroom. But you guys see that? I just sit there and sometimes I'm not even, I'm not even like- Taking, yeah, like, taking a dump. Yeah, yeah like, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not no, he won't. He's I'm not even doing it. it. I'm just sitting and I'm on my phone. And then when I least expect it, it's already been 30 minutes. I'm like, oh my god, I get up and I didn't take a dump. Yes, yeah, so some, sometimes That's I try crazy. to go before him. Like every time I see you, like walking towards the bathroom, like, I'm like yo, yo, yo. Let and I tell you guys, whoever's gonna go to the bathroom, go right now because you guys know as soon as I get in there, I'm like for like an hour or 40 minutes. <laughs> That's good. That's literally where when I do all my like calls, like while I'm in the bathroom, I call my mom, like, hey mom, how are you? I, I try to check up on on everyone. Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Yeah. When I'm outside, I'm like doing my thing. You know, I'm doing videos or I'm doing this, and like the the time I have for like myself in a way to like reach out to my family and stuff is when I'm in the bathroom because outside I'm like really on my stuff, you know? Right. I feel yeah. like, like, uh, it's that moment where you have that solo time. Yeah. Cause I kind of feel the same way. I do take a little long too. Like yeah. today I was there for like an hour, bro. Both <laughs> of my legs fell asleep. Yeah. I was telling you, bro, we got to go. Come on. <laughs> Y'all take forever, bro. Like I've, I've waited 40 minutes. For no. Yeah. Like, summer. like I understand what you're trying to say. Like I, I enjoy my, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy my solo time in the in the bathroom. Not even so private, because sometimes the, we'll try and open the door. Like oh someone will be, someone Dude, will be they, in the they bathroom. Got me in the These guys are so time. so annoying. Like I, I'm I'm in there and they're like with the with the knife. They're opening the door, the lock. They're taking the lock out. Oh my god, so annoying. The ice cubes just like ready yo. To oh there. my god, we got a. Oh, oh my yeah. god, I was showering. I was showering. Nice hot water. And these guys open the door and they grab like ice cubes and like really cold water, just throw it at me. Oh my God. And we actually have a rule in the house. Whenever we have a rule, whenever we, we, we get together, you cannot fall asleep. Oh yeah. You cannot fall asleep when we're there because if you fall asleep, we're going to throw a wet rag in your face. And we do that to everyone. Jose is the one that experienced it. The he did experience time. already? Yeah. Yeah. How was that? How was it, Jose? Am I making a guest appearance here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie. The first time I was sleeping, I didn't even notice. I wake up to my feeling my face all wet. <laughs> what's going on? You're like, what's going on? Dude, I just feel, I just feel a big old slap and it's gone. I wake up. I'm like, whoa. I think I'm the only one that haven't experienced it. Oh, oh yeah, good to know. Experience today. <laughs> good to know. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's number one rule. You can't, you can't fall asleep. Anyways, it's great. You get to know us, right? Oh, it's anyways, guys, this this was crazy. I had so I honestly had so much fun. This is like really cool to do. Honestly, it's something we do. I can't. Yeah, we do it, family. but we just never record it. We're, we're that group of friends that is always like, bro, we should make a podcast. Like, it, it's gonna get so many. No, and we have really interesting toppings. Toppings. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what is this a pizza? <laughs> we have really interesting topics that we like talk about, but we never record it. So we're like, let's just let's just do a podcast, you know, and let's just talk. And, it's and we cool. finally got the opportunity, bro. Yeah, we finally got the opportunity. So we hope you guys honestly enjoyed it and had fun because I had fun. I know I had fun, guys, honestly. Yeah. I, I, ah. just, yeah, I, know, I had so much fun, like especially with the boys, like talking about this is you can't get. It's any crazy. It's we were talking and, and we were saying that uh, that we were gonna make it shorter, like just 20, 30 minutes. I know we're like, what are we gonna talk about, bro? It's just, uh, it's yeah, insane. Bro, I can honestly, be here the whole day, bro. I like listening to <laughs> yeah, boys. Literally. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. But honestly, guys, like this was uh, such an experience. It was. I hope everyone back over there at home liked it, and uh, you know we're we're gonna be we're doing gonna, more. We're gonna be doing more, getting blow more, this up, getting more episodes <laughs> like, out subscribe. there. Everything, everything. I hope you guys support us with everything, and 
Yeah, guys, we'll see you in the, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Catching, Catching up. up. <laughs> do we, do we have that? One, two. We'll clap. One, one two, two, three. three.